Mm-hmm. I know there's a lot of different entry points, Selena, into media, yes, right? Podcast blog writing, guest blogging, um, TV segments and, and pitching yourself for traditional media stories, whether it's online or in the newspaper. So Hmm. for someone who's just starting and I think I'm, and I'm asking this question because even though I've had some practice with publicity now over the last three to four years, I, I still definitely consider myself a beginner in the PR space. And so I'm thinking back to like very, very beginning of my journey. Sometimes it feels even now overwhelming when I think about all the possible outlets that I go toward for media. Right. So for someone who is just starting, what do you think is like either the best entry point into the media world? What, what, what channel or medium? Absolutely. Yeah, no, I have a lot of thoughts around this. So I created this um, framework called the publicity pyramid. Mm. So it's a step-by-step way to get publicity, um, you know, with more ease, like a natural flow to it. So if you imagine a pyramid Mm. at the bottom of the pyramid, there is a base, right? So I call that your home base. And that would be your online presence because whether you're pitching yourself for a guest post or a podcast interview or a TV segment, the first thing that people are going to do today is they're going to Google you. They're going to look you up. Mm. So you want to have a presence. And I'm not saying that you need to spend like $5,000 on a fancy website or anything, but you know, you want to have whether it's social media profiles, something super basic. So they're like, okay, this person has established themselves, right, as an expert online. So that would be number one. And, you know, oftentimes that is as sharing on places like Instagram, maybe writing on a blog and sharing it via the newsletter. So that's writing. Now, the next natural step from there is guest posting, because then you're getting your ideas out on a third party website. Um, The easiest, I would say, would be somewhere like a medium, Um, where you can publish your content. Um, And there's other great places where you can guest post. Maybe it's Thrive Global, Mind Body Green. Um, Higher up there on the guest posting might be, you know, writing for Forbes or that sort of thing. Um, But it's a natural extension from what you're already doing, which is writing. Now, the next level from that would be podcast interviews. And I love podcast interviews because we all have conversations with people about the work that we do. And once we write our ideas and we're consistently sharing them, then having these conversations um, become easier. So it could be podcast interviews. It could be guest teaching inside someone else's program, but like these extended conversations. Now, as we rise up the publicity pyramid, we're going to be talking about like more mainstream opportunities because a podcast might be quite niche. Maybe your parents haven't heard of it, but it could be exactly what your ideal clients are listening to. Right. Mm -hmm. So as you move up, like maybe, you know, you're pursuing magazines and, you know, millions of people might get a copy of the magazine. Um, but as you go higher up, sometimes these are opportunities where maybe it's a soundbite, you know, it's, um, you know, you're featured as an expert versus you're authoring the entire article for like glamor magazine. right? Right. And then when you move up and do TV, you have millions of people watching TV, um, but t- TV segments are typically about four minutes. Obviously, there are some exceptions, um, like if you're being interviewed by Oprah and all of that. But when you think about just regular local national TV and the shows that they have, it's you know a lot of like short segments, or even you know when people come onto Ellen, like these are short segments. There, there's a lot of different opportunities. I think what you got to get clear on is. Um, you know, where are you in your publicity journey? Because if you're just getting started, I would recommend guest posting first before doing these extended interviews. Um, And also like understanding what your strengths are. Maybe you're someone who really loves writing or really you prefer talking, right? Double down on the things that feel good and natural for you. Um, We can talk about like how to find the specific outlets in a moment. Um, But the first thing is also understanding what kinds on a broader kind of spectrum. I think also like for someone like me, you know, I love connecting with people in a really deep way. And I have a program called Impacting Millions and we support people for a full year. It's not something for every random person, Um, you know, like on TV, you're reaching everyone. Um, Whereas, you know, for a podcast interview, I could reach entrepreneurs specifically. So it's a smaller audience. Um, but it's where I want to hang out. And there are also people that understand the value of investing um, in a meaningful way in their businesses. I think that this is a really great perspective that's not talked about enough in publicity and media. And so I really want to re-highlight that for, for anyone um, that's listening. This, this idea that sometimes 
you look at people who get the national big splashy media Mm. placements, right? Like, oh, you were on Good Morning America. Oh, you were on the cover of this magazine or you, you were featured here or there. And it's, it's really exciting because that is a big deal. But I love the fact, Selena, that you pointed out that sometimes, even though you may be getting into the hands of greater volume of people or or more people see you, there's actually dilution there. And that dilution of, um, you may actually get more action driven people from an interview, let's say on a smaller podcast with your exact clientele, then you may appearing on good morning America in front of millions of people who are rushing on their way to work or whatever it is, and, and not truly absorbing much from your four minute segment. And so I think I wanted to point that out again, because I, I think people sometimes idolize like those taught media placements when in reality they can, they can get just as much, if not more momentum for their business if they focus on where their actual clients and customers hang out. 